Hello, I'm Shonda Rhimes. I'm a television writer, producer, author, and CEO. Things have changed a lot since I was young, but that's what makes this so fun for me. I get to see what inspires the next generation and hear their perspective. I'm gonna share a look inside my childhood and tell you how I learned to play and get inspired as a kid. I am also gonna show how the Barbie Dream Gap Project helps to create a nurturing environment so girls can feel inspired to achieve their goals. A lot of progress has been made towards gender equality, but stereotypes and societal biases still exist, and they can affect a girl's view of herself and the future choices she'll make. That's where the Barbie Dream Gap Project comes in. Barbie is dedicated to challenging gender stereotypes and to helping break down the barriers that keep girls from reaching their full potential. And we're proud to be partnering with Inspiring Girls International. They're a group dedicated to raising the aspirations of girls around the world. Building girls' dreams globally, now that's a cause I'll always be there to support. Adults out there watching, I'm about to share a look back at little Shonda, and I'd love to see your childhood story too. So come participate in the conversation with me. Post your photos and videos and tag them with the hashtag, this little girl is me. I know it might feel like just one little post, but one post does make a difference. 93% of girls have greater aspirations after following an inspiring woman on social media. So you just never know whose feed you may pop into or whose dreams you may change. We've all seen and felt the challenges girls face, in particular, a lack of exposure to inspiring female role models. And so that's what Inspiring Girls International is trying to do. We want to connect young girls with women who are reshaping the world in their own image. Since 2021, Barbie has joined forces with hundreds of thousands of extraordinary women, all of them sharing their powerful This Little Girl Is Me stories. These stories have reached over 47 million people worldwide. And this year, I'm so proud to support this campaign by sharing my story. My story begins with a small child in the kitchen pantry. That's where I would play. I would climb inside and amongst the shelves of cans and dry goods, I would let my imagination fly. The tiny cans of tomato paste for townspeople, the cans of peas and corn ran the palace. The largest of the cans, the yams, were the kings and the queens. We went on adventures. There were battles and victories. I made a whole world in there. Every once in a while, my mother, who was cooking dinner, would open the pantry door and tell me she needed a can of veggies. I would hand her a can of peas, and the other cans would say goodbye as those two palace workers were banished from the kingdom to become our family dinner. That pantry is where I started building my dreams. And later, my Barbies did the same thing. Yes, I played with Barbies, a lot. My Barbies traveled the world. They skied and shod, they ran companies, they saved lives, they ruled courtrooms. I poured into those dolls all of my crazy hopes and dreams. It may have seemed silly to someone looking in from the outside, but it wasn't. I didn't know it then, but with the cans of peas and with my dolls, I was becoming a storyteller. I was building Shondaland. So I wanna tell you the most important thing I learned from this. Your dreams are valid. Whatever they may be, however crazy they may seem, you may not have someone to encourage you. You may not have a mom who lets you stay in the pantry or even a friend who supports you. There are people who will make fun of your dreams, will tell you that what you want is not possible. But know this, your dreams are valid, whatever they may be. Enjoy them, nurture them and use them as a starting point to leap into your own future. I'm not saying it's easy. It takes a lot of work and practice to keep believing in yourself, to do the work to make your dreams happen. It was not easy for me to step out of the pantry and attempt to share my stories with the world. I was scared. Sometimes I still am. I really hope sharing my story allows you to see a bit of yourself in me. I think back to that little girl playing in her parents' pantry, and I realize how hard it was for her at times, because she didn't fully see herself in some of her role models. Even when I began as a writer, one of my goals was to write complex, nuanced, and well-rounded female characters, because I just didn't see that on TV at the time. Trying to do something new or attempt something you aren't good at yet is hard. But some of the times I've been most proud of myself are the times when I've overcome a difficult challenge, when I've encouraged myself to do more. There is nothing better than showing those doubters that you can achieve the goal they said you never could. Your dream gap can be closed. Mine was. Okay, so we're on to my favorite part, which is getting to hear some of your questions for me. Hey, Shonda, I'm Vera from Singapore. I love that name, that's my mom's name. Hi, Vera. That's so cool. Well, I have a question for you. How do you stay resilient when you feel discouraged? You know, one of the things I try to do, and I've worked really hard to do, is to find those people in my life who are gonna give me some energy back. 
You know, there are people who sort of make you feel worse and people who make you feel better, and I try to find the people who are gonna make me feel better, and I talk to them. I think it's really important to find people who are gonna support you. And so I sort of go to those people and get some encouragement from them. That helps me a lot. That's a great piece of advice. My mom is someone who gives me a lot of energy and makes me feel better. Here's one of my friends with another question. Thanks, Vera. I'm Marta from Spain. Hi, Marta. Hi, Shonda. I'm so excited to hear your question. I'm so excited to ask. My question for you is, what is the biggest obstacle you've had to overcome during your career and what helped you face it? You know, it's interesting because I was raised to be a person who didn't think of obstacles as obstacles. Uh, it was always made very clear to me that an obstacle is just a hill you need to climb. So even though I've faced a ton of obstacles, I'm sure, I've just never thought of them as obstacles. I haven't named them obstacles because I didn't want them to get in my way. I always felt like they were opportunities to find a different way to do something or really just an adventure for me to go on. Hi, Shamba. My name is Darnia and I live in Switzerland. Switzerland's my favorite country. It's my favorite place to travel, truly. My Barbies even went there. Um, hi. Hi. How do you hope that your achievements and journey will pave the way and influence the next generation of women in color in the entertainment industry? That's a really good question. Being successful is really just running on the path of every other woman's footsteps that came before me. And so to me, I want to make sure that path is really smooth for the next woman. I want to make sure that women of color have spaces to tell their stories. And I want to make sure that we live in a world in which it's very accepted that women are going to be in charge. That feels important to me. I know that sometimes life is confusing as a kid, but you can do this. You really can. Just remember, your dreams are valid, and you have the right to make them happen. Thank, Thank you, Shonda. Shonda. Thanks to the girls from Inspiring Girls International for asking such great questions. For those adults out there watching, post your own This Little Girl Is Me story. Own your triumphs and be proud of all you've accomplished. You never know who may stumble upon that post and feel empowered to achieve their own goals. I wanna give a big shout out to Barbie. Thank you for reaching out and letting me connect with the next generation. It's pretty humbling sometimes to see how much impact you can have just listening and engaging with kids. I feel so grateful that I can show girls that you can be anything. <laughs>